now we are starting our topic which is the isdn history now isdn integrated services digital network we already know that isdn these are some earlier telephone lines by which we are taking the digital services just like we are working on the voice and we are working on the data means internet we can take and we can call on the same telephone lines so now we are discussing the isdn history in which the first thing was the voice communication over the analog network now first thing we must understand that in this particular era telecommunication network were entirely analog so this was the first thing which was invented now you can see that there is a telephone we know that earlier the telephone was there at our home which is a landline phone now from the company office which was connected to the telephone network that was completely analog means telephone exchange was analog and afterward from the company office we are given with a line so this was the line and with that line we can just call and we can receive means two way communication and this was called the local loop the wire which is coming from the telephone company to our home is called the local loop and they were completely analog means everything was completely analog this was the first thing into the isdn history then afterward there is a next thing which is called voice and data communication over analog network so here we are having the data and voice together voice means telephones are there data means internet can be provided so these two things work on the same analog network which was provided by the telephone company or we can say that subscriber exchange data as well as voice that means here we can work on the voice as well as the internet so you can see that the telephone company the telephone network is totally analog the companies are analog analog we already know that which work on the continuous waves now from their office now we are getting two things the one thing we already have which is the telephone with this telephone this is called the local loop whenever the line coming from the exchange to our home this is called the local loop and this is analog there we can communicate through the telephone now again through this line we are having another option which is again called the local loop line coming from telephone to our home there is a modem applied with the help of this modem we are doing modulation and demodulation and this computer can be connected that means can we can work on the internet over here so here we are having the data as well as the voice so in the isd in the first thing which was the completely analog only simple telephones was there then afterward the second thing we are having is the voice and data that means voice and data on the analog signals we can call and we can also work on the internet now afterward we are having the third thing that is called the analog and digital services to subscribers so there we are having the third thing which is the analog and digital services to subscribers that means we are now providing analog and digital both things so here analog lines are already there plus digital line is also added or we can say that digital technologies are added with existing analog services to reduce the cost and improve performance the meaning is that we can add the digital services here and when the digital services are added with the analog services it reduces the cost and it improve the performance because we know that digital signals are much faster and very effective because less errors are there and if the less errors are there obviously the less cost so you can see that now the telephone exchange or the telephone network are both analog and digital that means they can work on the continuous signals as well as the digital signals so from there we are having the local line local loop is the local line provided from the exchange to our home and first thing we have phone this analog we was already having in the previous one then afterward we already have the local loop means ex from exchange to our home there is a line analog line now here we have the modem and with the modem we are converting to the digital and the internet was working so these two things was we already having 
now one direct digital line is also provided local loop means from exchange to our home one direct line is also provided called digital and with that digital our system can work so there are three things one is a telephone one is via modem we can work on the pc we can access the internet or directly the line is provided so these are the things which are into the isd in history this one is a third thing which is analog and digital services to subscribers now it is very cost effective and improve the performance now afterward we are having the fourth thing which is called idn it is not isdn it is idn which is integrated digital network so this one is the fourth thing which we are getting into the isdn history and that is the idn integrated digital network this is somewhere different with the isdn that we will learn but first of all we must understand one thing that idn is the combination of networks which is available for different purposes means there we are providing the different types to the network to the customer now customer is having the option that which of them they want so we are giving the combination of networks and make them available to the customer and customer use them for the different different purposes because many of the times we use some type of network like packet switch sometimes we want circuit switch so based upon the requirement we use them and one more thing the access to these networks by digital pipes which are time multiplex channels sharing very high speeds the meaning is that there we are having some digital pipes which are time multiplex time multiplex means based upon the timing we can work on them and they are very high speed now you see the diagram then we can understand everything so this one is the idn which is integrated digital network and in that this is the teleco office or we can say that this is the telephone exchange now beyond that there are some digital pipes so these are three pipes or there can be any i am assuming that there are three pipes so one pipe is working with the packet switch network we know that whenever we are sending the data in terms of small small packets then it work the packet switch then is the circuit switch we know that circuit switch is like a telephone call whenever we first make the connection we call the person if person pick the call then afterward we can communicate that means connection is required just like other so there can be any other options like so there are multiple things are there these are the digital pipes which so now these digital pipes will help the customer as per their requirement let us suppose that they want a phone call then circuit switch path will come if they want to send the data then packet switch will work so based upon the requirement they will work and on the front side to the customer we are having the same lines just like we are having the local loop which is analog local loop means the line from exchange to the person home so first thing we are having is the telephone means we can make the voice call then we are having another local loop wire which is analog where with the help of modem we can access the internet or we are having the direct digital line with the help of that we can work on the internet so these three things are same as per the third thing now beyond that we are having the digital pipes which are added so this is the idn which is integrated digital network now we are having the fifth thing on which we are working isdn that is integrated services digital network so this one is the isdn which is integrated services digital network and this one is the fifth thing which we are having after the four improvements now if i talk about the isdn then this one is fully digital services rather than analog so if we talk about the isdn there we are having the complete digital technology the complete analog things are removed now and we are working on the purely digital technology then we are having the next thing about the isdn which is the flexibility so the flexibility to customers for on demand services so on demand services we already know that there are packet switch circuit switch networks and if we want anything then that can be given to customer on their demand so this is the isdn now if we talk about the isdn we can see that it is the integrated services digital network now previously we have discussed the idn 
which is integrated digital network there we are having the digital pipes which are beyond the office telecommunication office so isdn office is the telephone exchange and beyond that we are having the pipes packet switch where we are sending the small packets then circuit switch which is for the communication on the telephone where the first path is created and afterward data is sent and similarly there are other pipes so these are all on demand services that means whenever the demand is there for packet switch or circuit switch then that can be given if you want to make a phone call use the circuit switch if you want to send the data use the packet switch but on left hand side to the customer now all the analog things are removed and we only have the loops where we have the digital data so to the home you can see that the digital data is moving similarly there is another home where the digital data is going and similarly to the offices we are having the digital data which is moving so homes and offices now all are connected to the digital so there we are having the subscriber loops loops means the line which is coming from the telephone exchange to our home or the office so everything is now digital all the things are removed now you can see that modems are not there at your home why because the digital lines are coming today we are having the broadband services where the cat5 cable or many other cables are used and with that we are working on the internet so here the modem is nobody is having the modem now maybe any of the people are having but 90% people are not having the modem and also we are not having those modems by which we can access the internet or we are not having the landline phones very popular now because they all are converted to the digital we are working on the mobile technology we are having the wires at our home with which we can watch the tv we can have the phone so with one wire we can have the simple thing all the things are together so that is the isdn integrated services digital network so that is all about the history of isdn